evening, everyone. Welcome to our Sunday night service, amen. Welcome to our Sunday night service, amen and amen. Let me get myself set up. Down in the valley with my Savior I would go, where the flowers are blooming and the sweet waters flow. Everywhere he leads me I would follow, follow on, walking in his footsteps till the crown be won. Follow, follow, I would follow Jesus anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus anywhere he leads me, I will follow on. Down in the valley with my Savior I would go, where the storms are sweeping and the dark waters flow. With his hand to lead me, I will never, never fear. Danger cannot frighten me if my Lord is near. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I will follow on. Down in the valley or upon the mountain steep, close beside my Savior would my soul ever keep. He will lead me safely in the path that he has trod, up to where they gather on the hills of God. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I will follow on. Amen. I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear my Savior calling, take thy cross and follow, follow me. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him, with him all the way i'll go with him through the garden i'll go with him through the garden i'll go with him through the garden i'll go with him with him all the way i'll go with him through the judgment I'll go with him through the judgment. I'll go with him through the judgment. I'll go with him, with him all the way. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him, with him, all the way. He will give me grace and glory. He will give me grace and glory. He will give me grace and glory. And go with me, with me, all the way. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him, with him, all the way. Let's go to the Lord of Prayer. Vamos a orar. Heavenly Father, help us tonight. Help us to learn of you, learn from your word. Uh, Lord, help our hearts to be full with what you've already done this morning. Continue to work in us tonight. I pray, Lord, we wouldn't allow anything that's going on in this world to keep us from the love of Christ, to keep us from, from serving you and doing what we're supposed to be doing. And I pray you'd help me, 
Help me tonight to preach with clarity uh, the truth of the Word of God. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. One more song, 116. 116, I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 No turning back, no turning back. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Amen and amen. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we'll be with you with devotions. Martes, miércoles y jueves, va a tener devotional con el pastor. That's at 10 o'clock on Facebook Live, a las 10 de la mañana, in the Facebook Live. We are also having on Saturday evenings at 6 o'clock, a prayer meeting. Tiene una reunión de oración a las 6 de la tarde, uh, uh, en sábado. Uh, you are welcome to come to the church for that prayer meeting. Puede venir a la iglesia por esa reunión. Or uh, you can watch us on Facebook Live. O puede mirar en el Facebook Live. Continue to be in prayer for our church. Seguir en oración por nuestra iglesia. As we take the next steps of, of uh, reopening the church. Los siguientes pasos abriendo la iglesia. Trying to be wise. Quieren ser sabios. Step by step. Paso por paso. Be in prayer. Seguir en oración. Also, I want to tell you folks, uh, Christians... You need to vote this year. Cristianos necesitan votar. You need to vote. Necesitan votar. We need to have a part in making a decision uh, for the future of our nation. Quieren, necesitan tener parte un voz en el futuro de nuestra nación. Uh, we need to pay very close attention to who is um, uh, uh, more uh, supportive of the church. Necesitan a poner atención quién es más en soport, uh, soportando la iglesia, who is standing for the life of the unborn, quién está poniendo firmes por la, la vida de del, los bebés que no, no han sido nacidos, no, no son nacidos. Uh, we need to pay attention to who is a friend of Israel. Necesito poner atención quién es amigo de Israel. And we need to vote uh, not for the person that we like, but for the positions that they have. No necesitan votar por la persona que le gusta más, pero por sus posiciones. Um, we're electing leaders of a country. Está electando líderes de una nación. Not someone you want to be pals with. No alguien que tú quieres ser un amigo. We're looking for those who will support Christianity and the church in the United States. Los que soportan cristianidad y la iglesia en los Estados Unidos. Those who will uh, um, defend the helpless, the unborn. Que defenden los que, que no pueden defender ellos mismos. Uh, estos que no son nacidos. Uh, we're looking for those that will, um, will allow us to continue to have the freedoms of religion that we have. Los que va a dejar a nosotros a tener los libertades religiosos que tenemos ahora. Amen and amen. All right, let's go to the Word of God. Vamos a la Palabra de Dios. Amen. Luke chapter number 9. Lucas capítulo 9. Luke chapter number 9. Lucas capítulo 9. Lucas capítulo 9, Luke chapter number 9. Lucas 9, 18 a 25, Luke 9, 18 through 25. Luke 9, 18 through 25. 
And it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his disciples were with him. And he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? They answering said, John the Baptist. But some say Elias, and others say that one of the old prophets is risen again. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Peter answering said, The Christ of God. And he straightly charged them and commanded them to tell no man that thing, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be slain and be raised the third day. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantaged? If he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away. The Lord Jesus desires of us to be followers of him. El Señor Jesucristo tiene el deseo que nosotros son seguidores de Él. He wants us to not go our own way, but to go His way. Quiere que nosotros no va nuestro camino, pero el camino que Él tiene por nosotros. God has a great plan for every Christian. Dios tiene un gran plan por cada cristiano. God has a plan for your life. Dios tiene un plan para tu vida. God knows what's best for you. Dios, uh, Dios sabe que es el mejor para ti. And God wants you to um, give up yourself and follow him. Quiere que tú renuncias a ti mismo a seguir a él. There are many people that say they are followers of Jesus. Hay muchos que dicen que son Seguidores del Señor Jesús. But their life doesn't measure up with what the Bible says a follower is. Pero su vida no tiene las medidas de la Biblia que dicen quién es un seguidor. Many people in church are not true followers of Jesus. Muchos en la iglesia no son a verdadera a, a seguidores del Señor. We Love the Lord, I'm gonna say Lord. We we want uh, some of Him, getting parte de él, but we don't really want what it requires to be a follower. But in realidad, no quieren que que es un requisito, que son los requisitos a ser un seguidor. There's some things that a person needs to be and needs to do. In order to be a true follower of the Lord Jesus. Hay cosas que una persona necesita hacer. Para ser un seguidor real del Señor Jesucristo. And tonight I want to preach to you on following him. En esta tarde quiero predicar siguiéndolo. Siguiéndolo. Heavenly Father, help me in this message. Give me clarity of mind and thought. Lord, help me to uh, preach with wisdom. That wisdom must come from you. I need the sweet Holy Spirit to take control of this message. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Let me give you uh, some things uh, that have to happen in order for you to be a true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. Quieren dar a ustedes unas cosas que, que deben pasar si tú vas a ser un seguidor del Señor Jesucristo uh, uh, real. First of all, a follower of Jesus a one who knows who he is and knows him. Primeramente, el seguidor del Señor Jesucristo es aquel que con, uh, conoció a él. Uh, um, con, uh, um, perdón. Un seguidor de Jesús es el aquel uh, que conozcan quién es y conozcan a él. Es alguien que conocer a él, que lo conoce. A follower of Jesus is someone who will recognize him as God. Un seguidor del Señor Jesucristo es alguien que reconoció, uh, reconoz, uh, que reconozcan a él como Dios. If you look here in chapter number 9, he asked the disciples, who do they say I am? Pregunta a los discípulos, ¿Quién dice la gente que yo soy? 
They tell them, some say John the Baptist, uno's Juan el Bautista, uh, others one of the old prophets, uno's, uh, es uno de los uh, profetas de antes, Elijah, Elias. But then he says, who do you say that I am? Pero después ahí uh, dicen, um, I've lost my place, here we go. Pero después, Dice a él, él, ellos, um, y vosotros, ¿quién dices que soy? And Peter tells them, you're the Christ of God. Y Pedro dice que tú eres el Cristo de Dios. The Christ of God. El Cristo de Dios. There are those who, who want to place Jesus as a great teacher. Hay los que quieren poner a Cristo como un gran maestro. Even a prophet. Aún un profeta. But if you're going to be a true follower of Jesus Christ, you have to recognize that he is the Christ of God. Pero si tú vas tú va a ser un segador del Señor Jesucristo, necesitas reconocer a él como el Cristo de Dios. You're going to have to realize he is the Messiah. Necesitas recono reconocer que él es el Mesías. He is the Savior. Él es el Salvador. He is God in the flesh. Él es Dios en la carne. He is God glorified. Es Dios glorificado. He is now God in heaven. Es el Dios en el cielo. He is the only way of salvation. Es el único manera de salvación. A true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ is someone who is saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Un segador real del Señor Jesucristo es alguien lavado en la sangre del Señor Jesucristo. Someone who has come to the cross and humbled himself and received Christ as Savior. Alguien que venía a la cruz, puse humilde en frente de la cruz y recibió a Cristo como Salvador. Someone who has repented of his sin. Alguien que arrepentió de sus pecados. The first step in being a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ is you must know him as Christ. Primer paso a, a, a ser un seguidor del Señor Jesucristo es a conocer a Él como Cristo. He must be your Lord and Savior. Debe ser su Señor y Salvador. He must be the only one you are trusting for your salvation. Debe ser el único que tú estás confiando por su salvación. A true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ is someone who recognizes Him as Christ and has trusted Him as Savior. Un seguidor del Señor Jesucristo real es alguien que reconoció a Él como Cristo y aceptó a Él como Salvador. So if you're going to follow Him, if you are lost, you're a child of the devil, you can't follow Him. Si tú eres perdido, tú eres un hijo del diablo, tú no puedes seguir el Señor Jesucristo. But when you come to Christ, cuando venía Cristo, when He becomes your Savior, when él ya es su salvador, you now can be a true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ya puede ser un seguidor real del Señor Jesucristo. But that's just the first step. Pero esto es el primer paso. There's more to being a follower of Christ than being saved. Hay más a ser un seguidor del Señor Jesucristo que ser salvo. Because look what it says in verse number uh, 23. Mire que dice en el versículo 23. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Y decía a todos, Si alguno quiere venir en pos de mí, nieguese a sí mismo. Nieguese a sí mismo. A true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ is someone who learns how to deny themselves. Alguien que es un seguidor real del Señor Jesucristo. Es alguien que aprendió a negar a ellos mismos. Those who have learned to say no to their flesh and to the world. Los que aprendió a decir no a nuestro carne y al mundo. We're studying the book of Romans in Sunday school. Está estudiando el libro de Romanos en la escuela dominical. And we are, uh, uh, we are seeing how we, we battle this flesh. Está mirando como tiene la batalla de la carne. And we have the, the law of the flesh and the law of the spirit. Tiene la ley de la carne y la ley del espíritu. 
And this flesh desires to do what the flesh wants to do. La carne tiene deseo hacer que quieren hacer el carne. La carne. This flesh does not want to follow God. Tu carne no quiere seguir al Señor Jesucristo. Your flesh doesn't want to follow the Lord Jesus. Tu carne no quiere seguir a Dios. And this flesh that we live in, este carne donde viven, it will, all the desires of the flesh will want to be about the flesh. Y todos los deseos de la carne va a ser de la carne. But if you're going to follow the Lord, you have to start denying yourself. Pero si va a seguir el Señor, necesita empezar a negar a, 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 a ti mismo. You have to learn to say no. Deben aprender a decir no. We don't like that word no. No le gusta esta palabra no. Our flesh doesn't like the word no. Nuestra carne no le gusta la palabra no. Our flesh likes to say no in rebellion. Nuestra carne le gusta decir no en rebelión, but it doesn't like to hear no. Pero no le gusta escuchar no. If you're going to follow Christ, you have to learn to say no. Si va a seguir a Jesús, necesita aprender a decir no. Young people, you have to learn to say no to your flesh. Jóvenes necesitan aprender a decir no a tu carne. That young lady is going to come into a young man's life. Este, mujer, uh, uh, este muchacho va a entrar a, a, a la vida de un muchacho. And you're going to want her. Y tú vas a tener deseo para ella. And you're going to have to say no. Va a necesitar decir no. As you get older, there'll be another young lady come in your life. Más, más grande, otro muchacho va a entrar a su vida. And she may not be a bad girl. Puede ser que no es una muchacha mala. But she may not have the same desires for God that you have. Pero puede ser que no tiene los mismos deseos uh, uh, para Dios que tú tienes. Maybe you want to go in the ministry and she does not. Puede ser que quieren entrar al ministerio y ella no. Young ladies, it's the same for you. Muchachas, es el mismo para ti. That young man will come into your life. Este jovencito va a entrar a su vida. And you want to serve God. Y tú quieres servir a Dios. They do not. Ellos no, but they're so cute. Pero son tan chulos. You're going to have to learn to say no. A necesitar aprender a decir no. You're going to have to say no to the touching. A necesitar decir no a, a las tocadas. Maybe you've had a desire to do something your whole life and God wants you to do something else. Puede ser que ten, tenía deseo toda su vida a, a, a hacer algo y Dios quiere que tú hagas otra cosa. And you're going to have to say no to your own desires. Y van a ser decir no a tus propios deseos. I've known God to call people from great careers to do something else. Conozcan gente que Dios llamó de una gran carrera para hacer otra cosa. How we need to learn to say no. Como deben aprender a decir no. Maybe there's some place you wanted to live your whole life, but God wants you to minister in a different place. Puede ser que tú quieren vivir en un lugar toda su vida, pero Dios quiere que tiene ministerio en otro lugar. You're going to have to say no to yourself. Van a necesitar decir no a ti mismo. No to sin. Deben decir no a al pecado, no to your desires, no a sus deseos, no to your dreams so that you can do God's will, no a tus sueños que puedan hacer la voluntad de Dios. You're going to have to say no to all the voices other than God in your head. Unless it's not to say no a todos los voces en su cabeza que no son de Dios. All the people that are trying to convince you, toda la gente tratando de convencer, and you're going to have to say no and go with God. If I necessarily have to say no, ir adelante con Dios. If God wants you to go, you must go. Dios quiere que tú vayas, es si te need. God wants you to stay, you need to stay. Si Dios quiere que quedan, quedan. God wants you to take you from one career and put you in something else, let them. 
Dios quiere quitar de una carrera a poner en otro, déjalo. You're going to have to say no. Va a necesitar decir no. Your flesh is going to desire all kinds of worldly things. Tu carne va a tener deseo por muchas cosas del mundo. And if you're going to follow God, you have to learn to say no. Si vas a seguir a Dios, necesitas decir no. Maybe your life is full of material things and God wants you to get rid of them. Puede ser que su vida está lleno de las cosas materiales y Dios quiere que tú quitas. I don't know what it is, but if it is something that God wants and there's something else in your life, you need to say no to your life and yes to God. Si hay algo en tu vida que Dios quiere y tú tienes otra cosa, debes decir no a la otra cosa y sí a Dios. You can't be a follower of God if you won't even deny yourself. No puede ser un segador de, de Dios si tú no, uh, 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 si no puedes decir no a ti mismo y tu carne. This world will get you all wrapped up in doing what it wants. Este mundo va a invocar haciendo lo que el mundo quiere. And you're going to have to learn to say no. Deben aprender a decir no. You're going to have to say no to money. Unless you have to say no al dinero. You may have to say no to a relationship. Puede ser que necesitas decir no a un, un relación. You're going to have to say no to a position. Necesitas decir no a un posición. Matthew had to say no to being a tax collector. Mateo necesitas decir no a ser un, un uh, 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 de los impuestos. Peter and John had to say no to fishing of fishing for fish so they could fish for men. Pedro y Juan necesitan decir no a pescar por peces, a pescar por los hombres. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus had to say, I will no longer be a secret disciple in order to get the body of Jesus. Or Joseph of Arimathea. Jose de Arimathea necesitan decir no a ser un discípulo secreto a tener el cuerpo del Señor Jesucristo. Paul had to say no to the Sanhedrin in order to follow Christ. Pablo necesita decir no al, con, al consejo de los líderes religiosos a seguir a Cristo. If you're going to be a follower of him, he has to be your Lord and Savior. Y tú vas a seguir a Él, Él necesita ser su Señor y Salvador. And you're going to have to deny yourself. Van a estar negar a ti mismo. And then the next thing it says is this. La siguiente cosa que dicen es eso. Look if you would in verse number um, 23. Versículo 23. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Si alguno quiere venir en pos de mí, nieguese a sí mismo, tome su cruz cada día y sígueme. We know we're supposed to die daily. Saben que deben morir diariamente. Die to sin. Morir al pecado. But here it also says we need to take up our cross. Pero aquí dice que deben tomar tu cruz. As I was thinking about the cross that we have to carry. Pensando en la cruz que necesitan cargar. I began to think of what the cross of Christ represented. Empecé a, 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 a pensar en que representó la cruz de Jesucristo. What did he go through for the cross? ¿Qué pasaba por la cruz? What was it that was a part of him taking up the cross? ¿Qué era parte de él tomando la cruz? There were many things. Era muchas cosas. In order for him to take up his cross, he had to surrender. Para tomar su cruz, necesitan rendir. Not my will. Thine be done. No es mi voluntad, 
Pero tu voluntad. His desire for, was for the cup to pass. Su deseo era para, uh, para, para no, uh, que, que puede pasar la copa. But he denied himself in order to obey the will of God. Pero negaron a él mismo para hacer la voluntad de Dios. If you're going to take up a cross, you're going to have to be surrendered to Christ. Si tú vas a tomar su cruz, van a ser rendido a Cristo. That is one of the words most Christians want nothing to do with. Es una de las palabras que los cristianos no quieren nada hacer con esa palabra. We don't want to surrender. No quieren rendir. We want to hold on to the control. Quieren mantener control. We don't want to give up what we want to keep. No quieren uh, 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 renunciar lo que nosotros quieren guardar. We don't want to do what God wants. We want God to approve of what we want to do. No quieren hacer que Dios quieren. Quieren que Dios aprueban las cosas que nosotros quieren hacer. But if you are going to take up your cross, whatever the burden is that God's going to give you, si va a tomar la cruz, la carga que Dios va a dar, what you have to do in your Christian life, que tú necesitas hacer en su vida cristiano, what you are required to do to follow Christ, que va a ser uh, 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 um, un requisito para seguir a Cristo, you're going to have to surrender. Necesitan rendir. Not my will. No es mi voluntad. The cross is also heaviness. También la cruz es pesadez. Pesadez. Oh, heaviness in spirit. Pesadez en espíritu. As he was praying, he sweated great drops of blood. Cuando él estuvo este, uh, orando, Sudó gotas de como de sangre. As he was on the cross, as he was carrying that cross, it became heavy. Cargando este cruz era pesado. He fell under the weight. Caí bajo el peso. It was heavy when it, when it got dark and God had to turn from his son. Era pesado cuando Dios, cuando puso el oscuro y Dios necesitan uh, uh, en este momento rechazar su hijo. Following Christ and taking up your cross, there is heaviness. Siguiendo a Cristo y tomando su cruz, hay pesadez. It's a place of aloneness. Es un lugar de soledad. Jesus Christ there in the garden, Jesucristo en el jardín, he just wanted his disciples to pray with him. No más quiere que sus discípulos orar con él, and they couldn't do it. No podía hacer. Then they all ran and left him. Después todos corrió y dejó. On the cross, he was there alone. Ahí en la cruz era, era solo. You say, no, there were the thieves. Eran los ladrones. But he was bearing the cross alone. Tú cargando la cruz solo. In the darkness, he was alone. En la oscuridad, él era solo. There could be aloneness following Christ. Pueden ser soledad siguiendo a Cristo. Bearing Christ's cross was a place of betrayal. Cargando la cruz de Cristo era un lugar de traición. He was betrayed. By a man he called friend. Traicionado por un hombre que él llamó amigo. It was a place of false accusation. Era un lugar de acusaciones falsas. You serve God long enough. Servir a Dios mucho tiempo. You'll be betrayed. Va a ser traicionado. And you will be falsely accused. Va a ser acusado falso. Accused of pride. Acusado de orgullo. Accused of all kinds of things. Acusado de muchas cosas. People don't always understand who you are. 
La gente no siempre entiende quién eras. Eras. You may be in a family and your family will accuse you of brainwashing your children. Puede ser que va a ser una familia y, y este, la gente va a, a, a acusar que tú estás, este, uh, nosotros dicen, lavando el, uh, el cerebro o, o, o cambiando el mente de sus hijos. You'll be, a call, you'll be accused of being a hypocrite. Acusado de ser un hipócrita. Many things. Muchas acusaciones. Things that are not true. Hacer cosas que no son la verdad. Paul had preachers preaching against him. Pablo tenía predicadores predicando en contra de él. David had Saul against him. David tenía Saul en contra de él. And many other things and muchas otras cosas. I think of uh, Mordecai. Mordecai. Falsely accused. Acusado. Falsa. The cross for the Lord Jesus Christ was a place of suffering and shame. La cruz por el Señor Jesucristo era un lugar de sufrimiento y vergüenza. He suffered. All the way from the garden, all the way to the tomb. Sufrió desde el jardín hasta la tumba. It was a place of shame, un lugar de vergüenza. They stripped him naked. Quitó su ropa, puse a él desnudo. They embarrassed him in front of everybody. Puse a él de vergüenza en frente de todos. You know why there's not many followers of Christ? ¿Saben por qué no hay muchos seguidores de Cristo? It's not what we want. No es que nosotros quieran. We want the opposite of all this. Quieren lo opuesto de todo eso. But if you're going to follow him, pero vas a seguir a él, you're going to have to deny yourself. Va a necesitar negar a ti mismo. And you are going to have to take up your cross. You know, va a necesitar tomar su cruz. A place of surrender, un lugar de rendir. A place of heaviness, un lugar de pesadez. A place of aloneness, un lugar de soledad. A place of betrayal, un lugar de traición. A place of false accusations, un lugar de uh, acusaciones falsas. A place of suffering and shame, un lugar de sufrimiento y vergüenza. It was a place where he was made fun of. Un lugar que ha sido burlado, uh, burlado, um, I can't read my own writing. No puedo leer como escrito. Ser burlador, dore. A burlar de él. No one likes being made fun of. Nadie le gusta cuando la gente burlan de ellos. They did the Lord Jesus. Hiciste al Señor Jesucristo. If you're the Christ, tell me who hit you. Si tú eres el Cristo, dicen que quien golpeó. They mocked him. Burló de él. They laughed at him. Rió de él. It was a place of being doubted. Era un lugar de ser dudado. They said... If he's the Christ, si él es el Cristo, people may doubt your sincerity. Por la gente va a tener duda de su sinceridad. People may doubt your capability. Por la gente que va a dudar de sus uh, 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 habilidades. People may doubt that you're going to last. La gente puede ser que va a tener duda que, que tú vas a, a durar. It's a place of weariness and weakness. Es un lugar de cansancio y debilidad. He fell under the weight of the cross. Caí bajo la, el peso de la cruz. He thirsted and cried out for thirst. Tuvo sed y clamó con sed. His body was weary and weak. Su cuerpo era Uh, uh, cansado y débil. 
But just remember when you are weak, he is strong. Cuando tú eres débil, él es fuerte. It will be a place of pain and suffering. Un lugar de dolor y sufrimiento. We have glorified the cross as, as something symbolic. Has glorificado la cruz como algo simbólico. Something to hang on your neck. Algo a poner en su cuello. Something to hang on the wall. Algo a poner en, en, en el muro. Something to be a picture. Algo a ser un retrato. Taking up the cross. It's a place of pain and suffering. Tomar la cruz es un lugar de dolor y sufrimiento. It's a place of nothingness. Es un lugar de nada. When he got done with life, he had one set of clothes. And they gambled that away. Cuando acabó con su vida, tenía un par de ropa. Y ellos hizo acciones y quitó. A place of nothingness. You may not end in this world with a lot. Puede ser que no va a acabar con mucho en ese mundo. But it's not about what we have here. It's about treasure in heaven. No tiene nada a ser con que tiene aquí. Es a tener tesoro en el cielo. It might be a place of asking why. Puede ser que es un lugar a preguntar por qué. Jesus said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? It may be a place so alone and so unsure that you'll say, why am I facing this? Puede ser que es un lugar tan difícil y solo que va a preguntar por qué está confrontando eso. A follower of Jesus. Un seguidor del Señor Jesucristo. A true disciple. Un discípulo de verdad. Is someone who's willing to deny themselves. Alguien dispuesto a negar a ellos mismos. And take up the cross. Y tomar la cruz. Accepting whatever it is that God brings into your life. Aceptando todo que Dios trae a su vida. Even if it is. Heaviness and aloneness and betrayal and false accusation. Aunque es pesadez y soledad y traición y acusaciones falsas. Even if it's suffering shame and being made fun of. Aunque es sufriendo vergüenza y, y que la gente burla de ti. Even if it's being doubted and weariness and weakness. Aunque es duda y, y cansancio y debilidad. Even if it's pain and suffering and nothingness. Aunque es dolor y sufrimiento y nada. It is amazing that it was the beggar Lazarus that was comforted. El mendigo Lázaro que era consolado. And even though in the middle of it all you may say, why, Lord? Aunque en medio de todo dicen, ¿por qué, Señor? You are willing to surrender to the cross. Están dispuestos a rendir a la cruz. So, I know what you're thinking. Yo sé que está pensando, why in the world would anyone want to do this? <laughs> ¿Por qué va a querer alguien hacer eso? ¿Por qué alguien quiere hacer eso? There's some reasons why we should take up our cross and deny ourselves. Hay, hay razones que deben a... a, a, a um, Tomar nuestro cruz y negar a nosotros mismos. When you take up the cross, you enter into deep fellowship with God. Cuando toman la cruz, entrar a compañerismo profundo con Dios. Go to Philippians 3.10. Vamos a Filipenses 3.10. Go to Philippians 3.10. Filipenses 3.10. Filipenses 3.10. Philippians 3.10, that I may know him. Remember I said that if you're going to be a follower of God, you got to know him. Dicen ahí, a fin de conocerle. 
Me acuerdo que dijo que si tú vas a seguir a Dios, vas a necesitar conocer. And the power of his resurrection. Y el poder de su resurrección. Remember we're supposed to die daily. Recuerda que deben morir diariamente. And be raised in him. Y resucitado en él. Then it says in the fellowship of his sufferings. Being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. La participación de su uh, padecimientos. Llegando a ser semejante a él en su muerte, si en alguna manera llegase a la resurrección de entre los muertos. When we take up the cross, cuando toman la cruz, when we are willing to suffer, cuando está dispuestos a sufrir, when we are willing to follow him, cuando está dispuestos a seguir a él, when we are surrendered to him, cuando son rendidos a él, It takes us into a deep fellowship. The fellowship of his suffering. Llevar a nosotros a un compañerismo profundo. Un compañerismo de su sufrimiento. Another reason that you should desire to follow him. Otra razón que deben tener deseo a seguir a él. You fulfill God's will. Va a cumplir la voluntad de Dios. Because Jesus was willing to take up the cross, the will of God was finished. Porque Jesucristo era dispuesto a tomar la cruz. Era cumplido la voluntad de Dios. He said, it is finished. He said, eh, acabado es. The will of God was done because Jesus was willing to take up the cross. La voluntad de Dios, uh, 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 era cumplido porque Jesucristo era dispuesto a tomar la cruz. And God wants you to fulfill his will. Dios quiere que tú cumplís su voluntad. But it takes cross bearing. Pero deben cargar la cruz. Whatever God sends your way. Whatever God brings in your life. Carry the cross. Que Dios manda a tu camino. Que Dios quiere para ti. Cargan su cruz. You complete God's word. Work. Complete la obra de Dios. The work of salvation was completed because Jesus took up the cross. La obra de salvación era cumplido porque Jesucristo tomé la cruz. And God has a will and a work for our life. Dios tiene voluntad y obra por nuestra vida. You have part in the souls of men. Tiene parte en las almas de los hombres. Because Jesus took the cross. Man has salvation. Porque Cristo tomé la cruz. El hombre tiene salvación. And because Christians for centuries have been taking up the cross, souls of men are being saved all over the world. Y porque hombres tomé la cruz por, por siglos, hombres alrededor del mundo están recibiendo a Cristo. The work of God, the, 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 the building of the kingdom, The bringing people to Christ is through cross-bearing. La obra de Dios, creciendo la reina de Dios, uh, uh, este, cumpliendo la gran comisión, es a tomar la cruz. We must fulfill the great commission, but it will be with cross-bearers. Deben cumplir uh, el gran comisión, pero va a ser con los que toman la cruz. You save your life by losing it. Salvas tu vida perdiendo, perdiéndola. Go back, if you would, to Luke chapter number 9. Regresen a Lucas 9. Go back to Luke 9. Regresen a Lucas 9. And let's look at uh, verse number 24 and 25. Versículo 24 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. What is a man advantaged if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be a castaway? It goes against our way of thinking. Es en contra nuestra manera de, de pensar. I remember when I was in college and we had a teacher that used to be in the secret service. Cuando yo era en colegio tenía un maestro que era en el servicio secreto. And one day he showed us 
the attempted assassination of Reagan, the, the video. Un día enseñé el video uh, de uh, cuando uh, uh, atento, uh, atentar a asesinar al presidente Reagan. And he says, notice what happens when the gun goes off. Dice, dar cuenta que pasan cuando, cuando disparar la pistola. When you heard the first shot, cuando escuché el primer bala, the majority of people did this. La mayoría de la gente hizo como así. It's natural for us to want to save ourselves. Es natural para nosotros a querer salvar. But the secret service agents were, were trained to be different. Pero los agentes del secreto, servicio secreto eran entrenados a ser diferentes. Now he says, now watch them. Y dijo, ahora miren a ellos. And when everybody else was going to save their life, cuando todos los demás va a salvar su vida, they took a step forward. Ellos tomé un paso adelante. And as Christians, it may seem weird and strange. Como cristianos, puede ser que eh, escuchen extraño. But we save our life by losing it. Salva nuestras vidas perdiéndola. As we lose ourselves in Christ, we are saved. We have salvation, not just of our soul, but of our very life. Cuando pierden nosotros en Cristo, son salvos de alma, pero también salvos en la vida. Martyrs went to the stake willing to lose their life to have full salvation. Martires eran dispuestos a, a morir a perder esa vida, a tener salvación completo. See, it doesn't sound right. No escuchan correcto. But with God, life is different. Pero con Dios, la vida es diferente. So in order to save your life, you have to lose it. A salvar su vida, necesita perder. So you enter into a deep fellowship with God. Entrar a un compañerismo profundo con Dios. You fulfill God's will. Complete la voluntad de Dios. You complete God's work. Complete la obra de Dios. You have part in the souls of men. Tiene parte en las almas de los hombres. You save your life by losing it. Salva tu vida perdiéndola. And you follow his example. Y siguen su ejemplo. Hebrews chapter number 12, verse 1 through 4. Hebreos 12, 1 a 4. Hebrews chapter number 12, 1 through 4. Hebreos 12, 1 a 4. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Look at verse 2, mira versículo 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction as sinners against himself, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Christian, when it gets hard following the Lord, Cristiano, cuando pone duro, siguiendo el Señor, when you feel like fainting, cuando quieren desmayar, when you feel weary, cuando sentí cansado, take heart. Tomar ánimo. Jesus Christ is our great example. Jesucristo es nuestro gran ejemplo. He took the cross. Él tomé la cruz. Not enjoying what he was going through. No disfruté pasando por eso. It says he endured the cross. Aguantó la cruz. But the joy that was set before him. El gozo a más adelante. I'll tell you this right now, eternity, we will think it is worth it all. En la eternidad va a pensar que vale la pena. Take up your cross, toma su cruz, deny yourself, negar a ti mismo. So that the will of God and the work of God and the souls of men can come to Christ. Que la voluntad de Dios, la obra de Dios y los almas de la gente pueden venir a Cristo. Here is the invitation. Aquí está la invitación. First of all, if you don't know Christ, right now you can get on your knees 
And trust the God of heaven to save your soul. Si no conozcan a Cristo, puede poner de rodilla ahora y confiar en el Dios del cielo para tu salvación. You can trust Christ who died for you, was buried and rose again for your salvation. Pueden confiar en Cristo que murió por ti, era sepultado y resucitó por su salvación. And Christian, Cristiano, why don't you surrender right now? ¿Por qué no rendir en ese momento? Why don't you come to God and say, God, help me to deny myself and take up my cross. Dios, ayúdame a negar a mí mismo. Tomar mi cruz. Wherever that takes me, donde llevan a mí, whatever it requires, que, se, que requieren eso. Heavenly Father, help us tonight to take up our cross. Heavenly Father, help us tonight to deny ourselves. We live in riches and affluence in the United States. Even the poor of us, poor of us have much. It's hard sometimes to understand cross-bearing, denying ourselves. But I'm grateful for your blessings. But I pray that I'd be willing to give what is necessary follow you and take up the cross. Lord, we need Christians that will surrender. Missionaries are surrendering in smaller numbers and more and more of them are going and coming back. Preachers are not willing to stay in the ministry for long. We need men and women Young people, boys and girls, to say, God, I'll bear my cross. I'll deny myself so that your will can be done, your work can be completed, and the souls of men can be brought to Christ, and we can fulfill the Great Commission. I want to have that deep fellowship with you. I want to save my life by losing it. And we'll be cross-bearers, self-deniers, followers of you. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 o'clock in the morning, devotions with pastor. Martes, miércoles, jueves, devotional con el pastor, 10 de la mañana, that's on Facebook Live, esto es en Facebook Live. Wednesday night at 7.30, miércoles a las 7 y media, service here at the church, or by Facebook Live. Servicio aquí en la iglesia, or por el Facebook Live. If you're able to come, come. Si pueden venir, ven. We're beginning to go other places. Don't go all kinds of other places, but not come to church. Están empezando a andar en otros lugares. No andar en otros lugares y no venir a la iglesia. We're keeping things clean. Están manteniendo las cosas limpio, sanitized, sa uh, 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 sano. We want you to come. Quieren que tú vengas. If you're not able to come, si no pueden venir, tune in. Miren a nosotros en el Facebook Live. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this service. May you work and bless in a tremendous way. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen.